People ask me what I do and I tell them I draw monsters for a living. It starts out as a seed of an idea and it's just a scribble. It's like looking at clouds and seeing figures in clouds and we, we pull that stuff out and uh, it becomes something over time. They're my babies, you know, um, every time I create one of these things. Tools are very important to an artist. Tools help creativity flow. They help imagination come to life. It's like driving a car or riding a bike. They just become reflex. When I think about the artists here, everyone, everyone has a Wacom. Everyone uses it at some point during the day. The Wacom is the easel and the, you know, it's the paint for digital art. With, without it, you're not creating this, anything in this digital format. Epic is an amazing company that's been around for multiple decades. We've been at the core of this convergence between creativity and technology. Epic is most widely known in the video game space for some of the biggest franchises in the world. We also make really cool game engine technology. We're targeting platforms with Unreal Engine. Everything from PC, consoles, mobile devices, virtual reality, augmented reality, and the web. We work with game developers, film and animation, and architecture, automotive, Epic's the perfect storm of technology and vision, and we're always pushing the envelope far into the future. As a concept artist, Epic gives me the ability to push technology to the limit. We really try to give the artists the tools they need to be creative and inspire themselves and others. It all starts with the design. We go in with a team of artists that are some of the best in the world, and we facilitate the vision. First is the sketch work and, and figuring out what this thing's gonna look like, and from then on, it's refining it to get it into a playable state. From the moment a concept artist takes an idea, they're drawing their thumbnails and their concept art, they're sculpting in ZBrush, they hand that off to a character artist. Everything gets a pass through ZBrush, and once it goes into ZBrush, Wacom is the sculptor's tool of choice. There's no way you can use a mouse to do what you have to do in ZBrush. It's like playing soccer without a soccer ball, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to do it. Basically what the Wacom does is it, it allows me to start blocking out in 3D as close to the, the actual in-game asset with your art director over your shoulder. It shows what the end point is going to be about a month and a half before you get to the end point. And for a concept artist, that's huge. The walk-in would pay for itself in a day. Like, it's, it's ridiculous how important this, this thing is to me. In terms of tools, pretty much anybody we ever talk to already knows how to use an Intuos or a Cintiq. Probably 80, 90% of our pipelines are integrated with, with Wacom. I am a desktop administrator, and integrating Wacom products in our production environment is seamless, it's easy, it's, uh, it's as plug and play as it can be. And in an environment that's as fast paced as Epic Games, we're getting the product off the ground as fast as we can. So maintaining a working piece of hardware is the most important thing. With Wacom, uh, you plug in the device and it, it just works. One of the great things that we love about Wacom is that artists don't have to lose that sense of interaction that they have with their art, with their craft. We always want to keep the artist touching and, and being involved with the content that they create. It's an invaluable tool. I don't know of anything else that can create art as easily and is as comfortable as, as a Wacom. Without the Wacom, you just don't have the tools you need to create in this format.